Hello and welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. I hope you enjoyed the previous episodes and I'm really, really excited to bring you another whole bunch of designs. Before we get started, let me just quickly say if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now before you hate me because of how I'm going to critique your designs. So just hit that subscribe button now. And for anyone who wants to get involved in in this little project, this little uh, um, critiquing session of episodes, then the link is in the description for you to submit your designs to my email. Um, please stick to the rules when doing that because I started to get a few people sending me links and I will not review links. Um, they have You've got to send me a JPEG or a PNG image straight to my email. That's just how I do it. And without further ado, I want to get straight into the designs. Um, let me just quickly say, I want this video to be maximum 15 minutes long, so we're just going to see how many designs we can get done in the next 15 minutes. And as well as that, I'm going to be basing these critiques of three criterias, basically. The first criteria is, is what I think of your design. The second criteria is um, what I think of the marketing, how you can market, is it marketable, is there a niche there? And the third is what improvement I would make to the design. Okay, so let's get started with the first one. The first one is this. You've got a raccoon with a sign that says, you look like trash to me. I, I, I do like the graphic. I think it's really cool. I like the raccoon and the sign. It's really high quality graphic. I don't know if it's something you've made or something you've just, you know, downloaded from Canva or something. Um, but I, I do think that's pretty cool. In terms of the targeting I, I have absolutely no idea who you're going to target and I'm going to be honest with you I have absolutely no idea who you're going to target with this um that's a bit difficult and then on the third criteria of what I would do to improve it I, there's no niche here there's no targeting there's nothing there's nothing here like what, what do you have an audience that this is like a catchphrase you look like trash to me um I personally would never wear this I don't know anyone who would want to wear this walking around saying to other people they look like trash to them um, maybe it's the raccoon saying it. I, I don't know. Um, I don't really understand this design. So um, in terms of improvements, my improvement would be not to actually try and sell it. Okay, this is um, a cool design. Trust no one. This is actually a sick graphic design. Whoever made this, my hat off to you. I would wear this. The only thing is... It's kind of like, I don't like being negative, right? Trusting no one, it's quite, an, it's quite a negative, or I don't want to spread negative energy, right? And having wearing a t-shirt like this is quite negative energy. However, if you change the words, um, some trust no one, I love the red with the zip open. If you change the trust in the no one to something else, I think it could be really, really cool because I actually really, really like this design. Now, on, onto the criteria number two is who you target. I don't really know who you can target with this because it's not really a niche, right? Maybe if you have a, an audience already, a YouTube channel, Instagram channel, and this is a catch rate or something, then I can understand, but I can't really pinpoint who you would target with this. And in terms of improvements, as I said, I would suggest changing the trust no one to maybe something more of positive energy, positive vibes, and also try and make it a bit more targeted because at the moment it's just not very niche target. it's not not really targeted at all right moving on to the next one eat sleep game repeat i love t-shirts that use the eat sleep game or eat sleep something repeat i think it's a brilliant brilliant piece um it's very very easy to target people because it's so it's like quite targeted i do like your font here um i do like that you change your colors a bit um i don't like that the the i think it's like a ps4 um, control symbol above the E is so perfect, but the font is all like, you know, paint kind of like very messy. Also, the game is like a different kind of font, I think, with the lines going through it. I don't understand why that is. Um, I would say in terms of targeting, easy. You can target gamers, right? Very, very easy. Uh, I would say maybe base it around a specific game. So this is what I would say. With eat, sleep, something, repeat. Usually it's three squares, right? With the eat, sleep, and the square of what it is, and then repeat underneath, okay? That is the classic design. I would stick with that design because I think it's the best. 
Also, doing that design allows you to add images. So you can add an eating image, eating image, sleeping image, and a gaming image. And the reason why that is good is because it allows you to do a more targeted kind of t-shirt. For example, if you have the eating image, a burger, right? You have the sleeping image of someone sleeping and then the gaming image, something from a game, obviously not copyrighted or anything like that, something allowed from a game. It allows you to target someone based on the fact that they like burgers and that they like these kind of games. So you can do not maybe, maybe not burgers, maybe like something vegan. And then you can target vegans who like to play this kind of game and it makes it a bit more targeted. So that's what how I would change the design and how I would target with this design. Okay, this design, the banana has a vitamin C and B4. Um, Um, okay, I'm going to skip past the criteria of what I like about this because there's nothing I like about this. Move on to the targeting and then skip the targeting because I have no idea who you would target and go straight to the improvement and the improvements would be what on earth is going on here. Like, firstly, the design is like super low down, like the, where it says B4, that's like where the t-shirt goes over people's trousers. So the whole the whole design needs to be reimagined in terms of placement. It needs to make it around the chest. Okay, make it around the chest. Um, again, I'm not sure who you're targeting. Maybe you're targeting people who like bananas. I don't get it. And then it's like, cool. It has a vitamin C and B4, which also the sentence doesn't even make sense. It should just be has 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 vitamin C and B4, not has a vitamin C and a and and. I just don't like it, I'm sorry, I think it's awful. Um, if you do wanna really stick with this, I would say just change the whole thing, make the text all up here, uh, maybe have like a, a, um, a banana with like a smiley face and the, the, the mouth is the banana or something. I don't know, but I don't know who you're targeting here. Okay, number, well, I don't know what number I'm on anymore, but this is, looks like watermelon face mask maybe? Um, it's cool. I do like, I like the idea of it. Um, it looks like a really high quality material. It looks like really high quality design. I like that it's like a print. Um, the, the targeting problem is I have no idea who you're targeting here. It just, I just have no idea. Like you're targeting people who like watermelon. That's not really a niche. So uh, that's a, it's a difficult one. It's a really difficult one. Um, uh, in terms of improvements, I, I don't really know what to say in terms of improvements because it's just so broad, it's so generic, it's literally just a print on a yellow face mask, If it, I assume this is a face mask. So I, I, I personally wouldn't sell this um, unless you're selling it on a Redbubble as part of a, uh, a fruit and maybe veg series. So you can have, maybe if you do one like this, maybe you do a red one with tomatoes, like faded, you do, or maybe not tomatoes, like do it a red one with strawberries faded, do one with a green one with apples faded, and then you could target people who like fruit, maybe you can target vegans, that's not such a bad idea, and now you've got yourself a range, like a shop of face masks that have these um, fruit prints over them, that's how I would do this. Okay, next design, F-bomb mum with pretty eyes, thick thighs, and a fat cat. Um, okay, in terms of design, I like that you've, well, you've used a bit too many fonts here. So um, I like the overall shape of the design. I like that it's like a good rectangle. You've put it in the right place. I uh, I like that. I like that little sign in the middle. Um, I would I would mo make the pretty eyes a bit smaller. I do like the uh, the saying, F-bomb mum with pretty eyes, thick thighs, and a fat cat. I think that's quite a catchy saying. That, that's quite cool. Um, in terms of targeting, it's easy. You can target mums who like cats. I don't know how you target mums with pretty eyes and thick thighs. Um, I also don't know mums that would want to wear a t-shirt highlighting their thick thighs. In terms of improvements, you've got a bit too many fonts here. You've got one, two, three, four fonts, which is too many fonts. You've got pretty eyes, which is too big. The, the E should not be touching the frame. And the fat cat should be centered in the middle. I don't know why you've got the flowers there. Get rid of those flowers, they're useless. Um, I, I like the arrows, but I also think they're very random. I don't understand why they're there. Maybe, maybe get rid of the, the arrow 
so just make it an arrow going outwards and then another arrow going outwards. Don't have the inward arrow bit. I don't, don't understand that. Um, but other than that, uh, that's what I would say for improvements. But I just, I don't know. Your targeting is going to be quite difficult because just mums with fat cats are going to be hard to target. Okay, this could be one of those t-shirts which I just don't really understand. And that's completely understandable. Um, the t-shirts herd that. I assume you're herding these sheep. Um, I guess it's a cool design. It, it, I don't like the, the 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 herd that I'm not such a fan of. It's very hard to read because the the, the H and the R and the D, in fact, all the letters are very close together. There's not very much white space there. Um, it just looks a bit odd, especially with the E there. The E looks like it's got a lot of white space, but nothing else does. It's kind of odd. Um, I I don't really get the. T I don't know who you're targeting. Uh, I really don't know who you're going to target with this and. In terms of improvements, I, I don't even know what improvements to say, like change that herd, that font. Um, and again, if this is something that's just over my head and I don't understand the shirt, then I apologize. Um, but at the moment, I can't really understand what's going on here. This one is, what does it say? Grow girl, th th growing girl. Flower girl, Cra crown girl. Okay, this says crown girl. Now, firstly, the design is too low down. It needs to be higher up, okay. The overall, well, let me just say what I like. Okay, I, I like the hair, I like the, the blue and the rose, the, the, the flowers of whatever they are. It's quite a cool design. Get, I don't like the crown girl bit, I think that's really weird. Um, I would just have the design without the crown girl bit. Um. And yeah, move it up higher in the chest. In terms of who you're targeting, I'm going to skip this one because I have absolutely no idea who you're going to target with this. Literally no idea. And then what I would improve is the crown girl font. It's impossible to read, so change that. Um, literally change that or just get rid of it entirely. Um, and move it up a tiny bit, like I said. But other than that, it's pretty cool. But I wouldn't sell this because I have no idea who you're targeting. So if you already have a niche, maybe you've got a YouTube channel with crown girl or an Instagram with crown girl and it's just, just, you're just selling to an audience already, then it could work. If you're not, then I don't really understand. Right, last design for this episode, and that's going to be this one, Rebels. This is a face mask again. I think it's a really, really cool face mask. It's a really high graphic design kind of face mask. I love that. I think this will kind of do well on a pl pl platform like Redbubble or Merch by Amazon. I don't know who you're targeting with this, unless this looks like some sort of game that I just don't know about. Um, the font is cool, the colours are cool, I love it actually. Um, I don't know who you're targeting, but I think this could be quite cool if you just have it on a shop that's getting organic traffic from the website and then you could actually potentially get sales. Just make sure you use tags correctly. Right, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this. I got through quite a few designs this episode actually, and I've got another episode coming out next Saturday. I've decided to do them once a week now, every Saturday, a fourth episode, a fourth video to my three videos per week schedule, which is really, really cool. If you want your design reviewed, then please go to the description, have a look at the webpage, and you can actually get your, you can email me your design. Please follow the rules though, and I will do an episode like this with your design on it. Um, I'm really excited, but just want to say thank you very much for watching. And again, just so you know, these are all my opinions, okay? I'm just one person who has opinions, and these are my opinions. So someone else might like them, and, that, and that's just life, right? So I just want to give you my professional opinion on them. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.